Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I'm gonna show you guys some of the bird feeders I went out and bought after the, the storm the other day. I had uh, showed you guys that that vlog where um, you know we had that that unexpected hailstorm. We had thunderstorms on the way, but uh, we really did not expect the hail. So we weren't quite ready. We had been out in the garage that day, kind of cleaning out the garage and getting our camping equipment out. Uh, getting ready to get the camper ready for the camping season, which I am so excited about. And then um, towards the end of the day, we saw it was gonna rain and we left a bunch of stuff in the garage. You know, we're moving stuff to the, sh the new shed and then we're moving stuff to the old shed and getting some of our camping stuff out to put in the camper. And so it all just ended up being in the garage and then the storm hit and we didn't know we were gonna get hail, so we weren't able to pull the truck in to the garage, and we sat and watched in horror as the hail fell, and it was like four different rounds. Like it, it started hailing, and then it stopped, and then it hailed, and then it stopped. It just kept going on and on. It was the longest um, storm, a hail storm, that we've ever been in. I don't know from start to finish. On that video, I that was just clips, you know, along the way, so. It was, it was a long storm. And luckily we didn't get the golf ball size hail that they got a few miles from us. So we're counting our blessings. Um, the truck got a little damaged, but honestly to the naked eye, you really can't see it. Uh, it's just little tiny bits on the like trim area, things like that, that the untrained eye probably wouldn't really pick up. Uh, but we are gonna have that all fixed. You know, that's what insurance is for and it's a brand new truck. So it was so hard just to watch that. So we are going to um, just go out and uh, finish out the garage. We've almost got it done now because these other storms are coming and we'll be able to uh, get that. We've got to get our camping stuff out into the camper. That's the problem. We've, we've just got all this stuff that we took out of the camper and now it's got to go back in the camper. That's why we pretty much got the second shed is we, we need a place for our camping gear during the off season. But we're in this whole transition, sort of like, sort of like when you're transitioning to, to the empty nest. I mean, there's always these life transitions going on and that's what we're experiencing. So, but the storm did come and it did damage some of my things. I've got some bird feeders that were cracked. So I, that's what I did today. I went over to Big R and I bought a few, uh, a couple new bird feeders. First of all, let me just show you. Now these, these are not very expensive. In fact, this one here, let me see. Uh, let's see if I can get this here on the camera. Um, this one was, I think about $12, oh, $11.99. It's right here, <laughs> $11.99. And it's it's a nice big feeder. It is just plastic though. So it's, you know, hopefully it'll last. It won't probably last through the next hail season, but I'll have to take it down. And it's just a kind of a general round, uh, round uh, seed feeder. So there's plenty of places for the birds to perch. And it has pictures of so many different types, songbirds and finches and sparrows so i think they'll like this and it'll hold quite a quite a bit of uh bird food uh seed and then this is the one i really liked it, it will cost a little more it's metal so this will be the one that will last hopefully a little bit longer and through the hail season so like if we went camping i would leave this one out uh, in case we did get hit by a storm but um, now this one here it's called stokes this was 22 dollars so uh 22 99 and um, it's a metal hopper and the nice thing is you just push that little button there it pops open and you can put your your seed in there and so um, it is uh, uh, that's probably some type of plexiglass it's a, it's a much sturdier than this, this one here so but I'm gonna fill that up and get that out there for the finches and um we have some bluebirds too that are perched in our tree and they keep messing around with our hummingbird feeder which is quite interesting i have never seen humming uh bluebirds mess around with the hummingbird feeders now i've seen orioles mess around with the hummingbird feeder i've showed you guys pictures of that i think last year so that's why i bought this next feeder now this one is an oriole feeder and 
if you're not sure what that looks like it's I'll hold this here maybe you can see a picture of what that bird looks like there see he's almost and, and some of them can look almost like a canary in fact when I saw them the first time I thought they were little pet canaries that got out of their cages but they're they're very prominent on the prairie just a few blocks that way for us is a lot of prairie and they live out there but they come in and they get into the hummingbird feeders they like the nectar uh, they also like oranges so I bought this for them and I've never bought a hummingbird feeder specifically for well a hummingbird feeder but a, a bird feeder for the Orioles but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up this was $10.99 my friend uh, Diana told me about this and uh, she got one and she lives pretty close to me and she has hummingbird feeders up as well and said the Orioles were getting into her feeder so we're I'm gonna give this a try it's very simple it's uh, plastic so it's I don't know hopefully it's durable uh, and so what you do is you put nectar in here um, so you can put your sugar water in here so they'll and it's easier for them to get to because it's made specific Specifically for their bigger beaks. They, they like sliced oranges. I have put sliced oranges out for them before um, They do like them. This little feeder is uh, it's like a three-in-one so you can actually um, Put your sliced oranges fruit uh, apparently they like jelly too so you could put which I'm not gonna do jelly I'm gonna do the nectar um, they did I saw they had specific nectar for Orioles um, like hummingbird nectar but it was for Orioles and it's orange so they like orange hummingbirds are always red I'm not I don't color my nectar I make it at home with sugar water and I'm just gonna that's what I'm gonna put in here and um, I, I'll do a little research though and just see um, what they say as far as if you do it the exact same way you do hummingbird nectar or not but we'll see but I'm gonna give the guys there's a couple of them that they come every year and they just what they do is they take over the hummingbird feeder and they slosh it all around because they have to they they fly into the feeder and they get it swinging so it sloshes the water out so they can get to it and then you get ants you know and things so that's why with this feeder um, they can just get to the water and we won't have to worry about them sloshing the hummingbird feeder hopefully they'll leave that alone so I'll let you guys know how that works but I'm excited I, I do like the Orioles I like watching them I just don't like it when they slosh my hummingbird feeder and they make a mess so so I'm gonna give that a try now I did get some bird seed as well I just have it back there if you can see it so I don't have to pick it up it is it's a 20 pound bag it was $28.99 and it's the fruit and uh, nut mix, fruit and berries. So it's a little high end, I think, and I'm gonna probably, um, I get a five gallon bucket, five gallon bucket, and I put it in there, the, the seed, and I mix it with other things. That's what I'll be doing with that. And sometimes I even give a little bit of that to the squirrel, and I mix that with other things, like a little bit of corn and peanuts and things like that for the squirrels for fun. But that's that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna go out and fill the feeders up and um, I'll get some picks once I get them all I'll put, put up again and I'll, I'll show you guys the and hopefully within a few days I'll be able to catch an Oriole and uh, see how he likes the new the new bird feeder in the meantime the hummingbirds are thriving we've got a couple at least two in the backyard now that are fighting over the feeders and they're doing their little dance, happy dance again so they're looking for a mate and it's been really really fun i always enjoy the hummingbirds so the hummingbirds are here and 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 they're they're making their nest and all of that so um so that's good we are past the the few first few storms of the year the hail storms and i am really hoping that that's the worst of it but it's just beginning so hopefully you know i won't be out buying new feeders anytime soon these things are they can get expensive I mean to me you, you're better off spending a little more money and getting the metal feeders however I have had some of these too that get damaged over time and but this one I think because it's got the lattice the metal la lattice across the glass that's going to protect the glass the metal this is metal so it might dent but it won't break these plastic ones 
you know, not so, ugh. the plastic ones, um, you know, I just don't know how long they're going to last, but I will have to probably just take them down during the storm. Uh, and let me know uh, in the comments if you feed the birds, if you have hummingbirds or orioles, or what, what kind of birds show up in your yard. I mean, the hummingbirds, orioles, but we also have a, a couple blackbirds, lots of doves, and, and not blackbird, bluebirds. And we do have some blackbirds, but lots of doves as well. We get finches and... Uh, sparrows and just so many you know and they're just fun all right guys thanks so much for watching I hope you're doing well take good care and I'll see you on the next video bye